Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC. Got a package. The mail has come, and a package hath arrived. From Lewis, addicted to knives. Uh, I forget what it is. So let's find out. Maybe. <laughs> That's right, addicted to knives. Lewis? Lewis, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Speaking of Lewis, I bought this annex many moons ago off of Lewis, then I sold it, then I bought it back. Here we are. So, got a flat rate box from Lewis, a mystery box. I'm assuming this is from the pass around group, the Apex pass around group, but I don't remember, you know, to save me life, what is in here? I don't remember. A lot of peanuts. Got a lot of peanuts. Fair enough. Um,. Bear with me. Enough peanuts. Enough peanuts. Peanuts. Okay, not enough peanuts, apparently. Thanks. Thanks, Lewis. Gosh. We got a QSP box. I think I... Do I know what's in this? Do I? Nothing left in there. Goodbye. Solid. QSP bursting at the just bursting with with pleasures and mysteries made in China. It's been a long time since I've had something from QSP on the channel, so I am intrigued. Still not um up. Oh, still not ringing any bells yet. <gasps> Ooh, I do know what this is. I do indeed know what this is. This is the QSP Rhino Rhino Future Me Rhino Rhino. I think it's the rhino. I, um, this is a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot happening here. Back in you go. A bunch of stickers from all the other channels that have handled it. Lovely, beautiful. This is the QSP rhino. So I handled this back at Blade Show 2022. It feels like a lifetime ago. It really wasn't that long ago. This is kind of a really high-end titanium frame lock from qsp so not something we've really seen from qsp that much we haven't really seen a ton of really high-end um knives other than the knives of uh, empdc which the original nimble the nimble x the nimble warney were all made by qsp the nimble liner lock as well so those have been kind of their higher end models so this is kind of them going off on their own and it's an interesting piece so right off the back that right over right off the bat Full titanium build, frame lock, Timascus clip, or like some crazy flame anode titanium clip. It's the ceramic ball bearing type of clip. Not my favorite, but it is what it is. And it's not really a very pretty clip, <laughs> just being honest. Uh, look at this blade spine, dude. It's like woven. This weird curly Q spiral jimping pattern like corkscrew. M390 on the blade there. Uh, looks like T8 hardware, all T8, even on the clip, which is a nice touch. It's that same kind of crazy spiral jimping going on on the Timascus backspacer. Boxy, no contouring, no real chamfering or anything like that. So a boxy knife. Size comparison, real quick. Here is the Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. So, thick, girthy. You know what I mean? Girthy to say the least. A Spyderco Para 3. So honestly, about the same size height-wise and length-wise in the pocket as a Para 3. So not terribly huge, but not tiny. Not tiny. It's not very heavy, I have to tell you. It, it looks a lot heavier than it is. It looks like this big, heavy tank of a knife. It isn't. Let's open it. Big fuller for reverse flicks. Really nice. Satin finish. Really tall flat grind, M390. That I can't get over this wild jimping. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. Visually, it's very, it's very bizarre. It's very bizarre visually. I, I can't. I don't know. I don't know about it yet. I don't know about it. Really nice ergonomic lines, kind of hooks back here to really lock your hand in place. So ergos in hand, tuck in behind the flipper tab, choke back. Feels great. Feels really nice. Uh, the jimping feels fine. It just, it feels weird. I don't know, dude. I can't put my finger on it, but it feels awkward. <laughs> it, I mean, decent amount of traction on it, so it's all good. M390, it does say sample on there. Then the QSP logo on the show side. Interesting looking knife. Really cool clip point, Bowie kind of ish style blade shape there. Good looking. Lockup is good. 
Back to Ergos, no finger choil, so you can't really choke up, kind of a bummer. Pinch grip, yeah, sure, all day long. I could pinch grip it all day. Feels good, way lighter than it looks. Again, heavy uh, machining on the inside to keep the weight down. Very interesting. Action, whoa, running on a set of bearings. QSP does a great job with their action. So we have a flipper, we have a front flipper, and then we have the fuller for reverse flicks. And thumb flicks, feels good, detent feels nice. Flipper. Push button feels great. Light switch feels great. So however you flip it, feels good. All right, front flipper. Ugh. There's just, okay, there's just not enough here. I don't know if that's going to change in the future. It didn't come with any notes. But there's just, ah, you got to really want it. Um, So I'd probably, oh, in use, not be using that front flipper very often. It's tough. Once you... Yeah, dude, it's tough. Unless you go fing even with the finger. Eh, I, I don't even know if that's what that's for. Or if that's a mistake. I don't know. But, action on those bearings is so nice. So smooth. Super drop shutty. The acoustics. Man, that thing drops. It's a loud knife. On the open. Very nice. Very nice. QSP does great work. Uh, they really do. They've always done great work with the EMPDC line. So it's no surprise that them going off on their own, doing kind of some in-house designs, they would do a good job with it. They've had a lot of practice by now. But very good stuff. Very good. I think, if it were up to me, this is really similar to the relative. I think I'd rather have a relative. Future me, how much do these cost? I think I remember it being a lot. Like over 300 for this. Future me, how much are these? I don't remember. But it's really well made. Uh, looks like they didn't do a great job with the grind here. I'm getting a smile already. Don't know if you can see that right here. A little bit of a smile going. Edge termination is not great. Sharpening choil, also not the greatest. Or, or like non-existent. Again, a prototype, a sample. I'm not going to like hate on it too much. I'm just kind of pointing out the glaring things here. The really obvious things. But... Very nicely done. We ought to cut something with it real quick. This is not mine, and it's not factory fresh. It's been passed around like a cheap whore. So we'll see how it cuts. Let me get the phone book out. Let's see what she'll do here now, huh? Let's take a look, see. M390, nice tall flat grind. QSP does a great job with their edges. Edge termination, not so great. But as far as cutting performance goes, yeah, they cut. And this is no exception. Oh, like butter, baby. Black and damn light, saber laser beam, razor beam, trademark. Love it. Love it. All right. Okay, QSP. It's been a long time since I had a QSP branded knife on the channel, and I am not disappointed. Uh, I will leave links to this down in the description. I'm not sure when these are coming out, if they've already been released, what the deal is. I'm usually at the end of the list when it comes to the pass around stuff because I like to take my sweet ass time. But this will probably not get a full review just because I don't have enough time with it, but that's okay. I just like checking stuff out and pumped to check out the Rhino here. The QSP Rhino, that is it. Uh, I will leave links down in the description if I can find it. I will have many pictures on Instagram and on Kara's Instagram, so follow us there. Uh, subscribe to Patreon. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Become a channel member. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. And that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.